What up? It's your boy. And you already know. As you know, this week is CES 2014. Uh, they revealed a bunch of stuff like the Samsung Galaxy tablets, the uh, Sony new uh, wrist brands with the chips in it, electric heart rate and everything. Um, the curved TVs of Sony and Samsung. A bunch of other stuff like the Steam box uh, for PC gamers and alien aware uh, hardware and all that so if you guys don't know CES stands for consumer electronics show and it happens every year um, around this time but mainly what this video is about if you guys don't know by now probably by the time I'm uploading this you probably already know is Sony reveals a streaming service called uh, before you know it was called Gaikai which is the company but now it's gonna be called PlayStation now and uh, if you haven't heard news about this they announced that you'll be be able to play um, it's gonna be a subscription service uh, they haven't really confirmed yet. it's gonna be close to like PlayStation Plus you know if you buy a PlayStation Plus uh, PlayStation now will be available also they haven't announced that but as you know last summer uh, this previous summer 2012 or not 2012 that's two years ago I guess now they purchased uh, Gaikai for 380 million dollars um, cause you know they they saw something in it and from what I'm seeing man Sony and Playstation they doing it big man um, not only are you gonna be able to play your uh, you know PlayStation now on your PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 you're gonna be playing on new uh, I believe 2014 new uh, Sony Bravia TVs also your tablets and uh, also your computer uh, I believe you know probably with the PlayStation controller uh, PlayStation you know 4 controller or PlayStation 3 controller probably with a USB but like I said, I'll repeat it with your tablet, your television, your PlayStation 3, your PlayStation 4, and also the PlayStation Vita is coming. Like I said, this summer, I believe they're having a closed beta, I believe, at the end of this month, uh, January 2014, of course. But uh, this service will be available for the U.S. this summer, 2014, and you'll be able to play classic games that were in the PlayStation 1, the PlayStation 2, and of course, if you missed out on last generation, the PlayStation 3. Um, so yeah, there it goes for anybody that think, oh, I won't be able to play no games, you know, if you're an Xbox or you're a Nintendo guy, and you know, you just bought a PlayStation 4, you wanted to play some old uh, PS3 games that you didn't get a chance to play, uh, those will be available. Um, this summer for the US and eventually soon to everyone I believe uh, but I believe first is coming this summer 2014 and like I said man PlayStation doing it big man I'm definitely uh, you know PlayStation revealing all the cards man and um, also multiplayer will be available when that uh, service comes out so you know that's a good thing interact with your friends and everything and uh, trophies will also be available and I believe I also heard that um, some developers are going back to the old games and adding new levels, uh, similar to what Nintendo does. And, uh, yeah, man, um, I'm excited, man. Like I said, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. But like I said, man, PlayStation doing it big, man. Uh, they definitely, uh, you know, know the consumers. They definitely, uh, know some people were disappointed that the PlayStation 4 didn't have backwards compatibility. But, you know, what can you do, man? Uh, they bought Gaikai back, like I said, in 2012 for $380 million, And, uh, you know, hopefully it's worth it, man. We'll see. This is just news uh, that has been confirmed at Sony CES 2014. And, uh, yeah, like I said, tell me what you guys think. Also, I believe, I forgot to mention, it's smartphones. If I didn't mention that. Uh, also, you know, television, tablets, and smartphones. And, like I said, 2014 models. Uh, air quotes Sony Bravia television so previous but you know won't be uh, having that PlayStation uh, now it's called Gaikai is presenting PlayStation now so uh, tell me like I said if you guys are excited about this um, like I said we don't know really right now if this PlayStation now will be incorporated into the PlayStation Plus you know but it is gonna be a subscription service so I'm you know um, you're going to be probably paying like maybe $50, maybe, you know, more or who knows less. So, uh, 
like I said, those are just rumors right now, but that has been confirmed. I'll leave the IGN article in the description, top link. And uh, it's just crazy, man. All the PS1 games, all the PS2 games, uh, I believe not really available at launch, but, you know, eventually they'll start, you know, putting out all the games for it. And uh, anybody, like I said, switching over to the PlayStation, um, or if you have a new model of a television of a Sony Bravia or a tablet or a smartphone, like I said, you'll be able to play these classic games, man. Um, I believe they said one of the main games that's coming this summer is The Last of Us, and you know how big that was. That's definitely one of the top games of, of this generation, man, or last generation, I should say now. Um, but yeah, I don't think I got anything else to add, like I said. Um, I'm just thought I'd try out this new kind of style video. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, like I said, man, hope you guys, uh, you know, enjoy this news. And uh, like I said, show me your thoughts and opinions down below. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, stay safe, stay positive. See you guys on the next one. You.